What's up guys? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. I'm Ruben from Camille the 68 Cougar. Lately I haven't been posting up too much. I got a little bit engulfed with my day job that's turned into a night job partially. Uh, so I've been really tied up there. So I haven't been providing too many updates. I have been tweaking the car a little bit. Uh, I'm currently installing uh, fuel lines there. Check out my Instagram. I got a little bit of an update there. Uh, but anyways, the purpose of today's video is to share the new excitement with the new partner that I've obtained for Camilla 68 Cougar. And that company is called Aces Fuel Injection. Let's talk about that a little bit more and I'll go over the unboxing of the goodies that I got from Aces Fuel Injection. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the Aces Fuel Injection Ignition Coil. So before I actually get started here, I wanted to show you what I actually currently have. So this is actually the coil that I have today. Um, really beat up coil. I've had this, this thing is probably like 15 years old. Um, it's very beat up, so I, I figured, hey, I'm not gonna put this thing that's all tattered and beat up in my car, especially after painting it, right? So it's not gonna look good. Um, it's just gonna be a big eyesore. So the hell with this thing here. So now as we're looking at the ACES fuel injection coil, um, as we unbox this, um, comes very well packaged, comes with some uh, information here on how to hook up. Um, the instructions are pretty clear, which is awesome. Love that. Um, we have a couple of uh, mounting screws here and bolts to mount up to wherever you want to put this. Uh, and here's the ignition coil. Pretty sturdy, very, very heavy um, ignition coil. It has fins here too to cool this thing off because as you know, sometimes these things get kind of warm. Uh, so that does a good job of getting that. Um, this is the, the male side of the coil itself. Um, and here's the, the plug in here for the CDI ignition. We'll get to that shortly. Uh, build quality is excellent. Uh, the color of this uh, coil pack itself looks fantastic as well. Um, very well built and sturdy and heavy too as well. So as you compare this to my old 15 year old MSD ignition coil, well, you kind of just have to go all in, right? As uh, ACES fuel injection uh, slogan goes. So uh, huge, huge upgrade here uh, compared to this one. I love the stealth color of this. It's a all black color and you can't go wrong with spades. So, um, you know, the spades here, there, very good. It's all etched in, in laser, I believe. Um, so it looks, it looks very, very good. All right, next up is the uh, spark plug wires and um, these are black ceramic boots. Um, all of the ACES fuel injection stuff is, is mostly black for the most part. I'm not sure what the next set of uh, parts will come out, but uh, most of them are black. You'll get a couple of tidbits here that you can swap for black, red, or blue. Um, but these are eight millimeter spark plug wires. They're carbon suppression core. They're 50 ohm resistance, um, and we can custom cut them to length, to fit, of course. Uh, so really cool. The boots themselves are ceramic too, so it helps it from burning on your exhaust uh, headers. So let's take a look at these here. Got a nice warning sign there for California. Um, well, let's see what's inside. Okay. Pull this whole thing out, yeah? Oh, cool sticker. Got several of these in, in the boxes. Um, I will be giving some of these away, so stay tuned on that on my Instagram page. Find out the details on that. <clears throat> so, let's see what we got here. So again, these are cut to fit. Um, you have the cool boots here that cover the ignition wires. Um, 
<clears throat> Check that out. Good quality there. And then actually the connections that go inside the boots are here. Again, you could probably clamp these on there. Um, this is the first time I actually see um, uh, spark plug wires uh, kind of DIY yourself, cut to fit, but it gives you some good um, options there, uh, depending if you want to reroute things a little bit longer, you're not stuck to whatever the uh, company sells you. The wireline connectors, which is cool to bundle those pieces up together. Um, and here are the boots, and you can hear that. They're ceramic coil, let's whip one of these out. Um, so this is actually pretty cool. Um, this here is ceramic. Not sure if you can hear that, but let's see. But this is ceramic, this goes plugged into your uh, spark plugs here. Uh, great way not to burn these, uh, these ends here, so I like that. And you can hear that ceramic. Uh, here's the rest of the wires here. <clears throat> Pretty cool. A little bit more of the boots there to, to clamp on itself. And here are the wires. Wires look pretty good. Again, they're eight millimeter wires. Um, should be plenty enough for you guys' vehicles. And again, you guys, they make these for um, popular motors. Uh, this is for a 302 Ford motor, but they make Chevy, Dodge, etc. All the big names. Um, expect to see that there. Next up, you guys, is the billet distributor. Um, I'm actually really excited about the distributor. Uh, as part of the ignition package for ACE's fuel injection. Um, I actually have a, uh, like a stock type of, I think it's called a HEI from a, a 5.0 liter Mustang. Again, I have a 302 um, a long block that I have that I've had for a long time. And so I'm super excited to replace it with uh, the, the ACE's fuel injector distributor. Um, again, the packaging on these is phenomenal. Got another ACE here as well. Um, there's information here about the distributor. Uh, my part number for the small block Ford is uh, AD2012, and it gives you some information on what's included with the distributor, uh, some warning information, and a lot of information here that's a good read before you install this. Very, very thorough um, instructions and information. Um, I really like about that, that it's actually really easy to read and follow, which is fantastic. This is actually a mechanical distributor, so it's not an electronic distributor. However, it does work with their ACES uh, ignition pack, uh, so that shouldn't be an issue at all for you. Uh, again, the packaging on this is phenomenal. I received it. Um, everything is intact, as you can see there. Uh, and here's the distributor. Let's fill this back a little bit so you can see that. I believe this comes with a bronze sprocket here at the bottom. See that there? Or it's a metal one, I forget the exact amount. Um, very, very nice. Um, I do like it, it looks fantastic here. Um, Again, there's some options that you have here. You can change the distributor cap, uh, but I love the uh, all the all black here. It looks really trick. Um, this actually moves very well, very smooth. Construction is actually pretty good too as well. Um, you could take the uh, bolts off here on each side, remove the cap, and you can lock out the uh, the mechanical stuff underneath the cap here. This is your plug-in here for the ignition itself. Um, very sturdy, pretty good quality. And again, this is a Pro Series distributor from ACES Fuel Injection. Very nice quality piece. All right guys, this is uh, the last box I have to share with you guys in this video. Uh, but probably one of the most important parts of this ignition system from ACES Fuel Injection. And again, this is the high roller kit. Um, and hey, check it out. Another ACES sticker. Thanks guys. Uh, instructions are here. 
Uh, talks about the digital operation, capacity discharge, multiple sparks, um, rev limiter. So this particular ignition system has a rev limiter. You can select the number of, uh, it's a universal application, so you can select the number of uh, cylinders, the start retard, the launch uh, retard, the nitrous oxide, burnout rev limiter, that's pretty cool. I love that. RPM launch control, uh, the launch uh, drop control too as well. Has a touch screen where I'll show you and then it has some general information on hooking up tachometers and so forth. Um, information is pretty thorough. Um, that's what I like about these guys. The instructions are phenomenal. I love that. Okay, excellent. So good instructions here. And then it gives you some troubleshooting too if you guys uh, need some help with that part of it. You can always check that part out. And then the schematics here, um, these look pretty straightforward. It looks very easy to hook up. Uh, so easy to follow. So one of them's using the point trigger and then the other one's a magnetic uh, pickup trigger here at the bottom. Uh, so you get both of those instructions there. Uh, it talks about the handheld device, so we can actually just drop into that. Okay. Here's your ignition box. There's an LED here. The connections here for the harness that they provide. Um, overall, it's out of, made out of metal. Pretty sturdy, very well built. Uh, so I like that part of it. And there's your mounting points there. So you can mount them anywhere in your vehicle, either in the engine bay or tucked away nicely. Okay. This is the part I'm kind of excited about too. So um, this is the LED screen uh, that they provide for their ignition kit system. It is a five inch screen, which is really cool like about two and a half inches uh, tall. Um, you can mount this inside your vehicle um, and it gives you all the information on the ignition, timing, uh, you can set your launch control. A lot of the cool features that we saw in the instructions, um, it's all there, which is really neat. Uh, pretty sturdy, feels very well put together. There's the plug there for that part. Um, this section back here is for your harness hookup so that we can plug this bad boy and mount it. Very, very cool, I love that. Can't wait to mount this. And I already have a, uh, an idea of where am I gonna put this bad boy, so uh, very, very cool. I love the theme that Ace's fuel injection had. It's all black, like a matte black, and they got this really red, cool color there. Maybe it doesn't matter to most, but I just thought it looked kinda cool. Okay. Uh, this is your wiring harness. So we talked a little bit about this in the schematics. This hooks up to the back of your um, panel here that runs to the firewall that hooks up there. And um, this goes out to the ignition box, I believe. And then uh, there's some more wires there. So wires look in uh, good condition. Everything's hooked up properly. Uh, they did a good job on this. And then uh, for your CDI box, uh, some uh, insulated uh, mounting rubber pieces there. That's cool. And then you get a couple of other connections and screws there as well. Um, and then this is cool too, so check this out. So this is to mount your, uh, your screen there on your dash and comes with a uh, double side tape over here in the back. And then this goes to the back of your screen and it holds it in place for you. So you can dismount to take it off if you like. A couple of screwdrivers here to open up the CDI box. Nothing too crazy there. But uh, so far, hey, this is really cool. Um, I love this screen. This is gonna be awesome. Uh, usually from the competitors, you get a way smaller screen like about this big. This is a nice five inch uh, LCD screen that's gonna be very useful from inside the vehicle so you can make any adjustments as needed. Um, that's very cool. Um, and here's the box again. Uh, again, very well built. Uh, I'm super excited to mount this uh, sometime in the near future.
Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think so far of Ace's fuel injection ignition system? Pretty neat stuff, right?